Hello folks, this is Matthew with River Ponics. This is my latest development, which I call the River Ponics Hybrid Flow and Grow. This is my patented compost brewer, which is the delivery system for the water and nutrients to the flow and grow system. This is your dispensing spigot out of your brewer, which goes to your first four gallon square bucket. From there, it converts over to inch and a half PVC. That inch and a half PVC adjoins each bucket and makes its way back to the reservoir. The 90's up inside there. From that point, this vertical piece is removable. It comes manufactured at four inches. This vertical piece is what controls the amount of fluid in each four gallon square bucket in your flow and grow system. So you can either lengthen that or shorten that to get the desired height of water in each bucket. You can actually rotate this to get your desired height as well. Now it comes manufactured at four inches like I said and at four inches your water table is about right there in your four gallon buckets. There's two components that runs the uh, compost brewer. You have your air pump, which is the workhorse, which pushes the fluid and aerates all the fluid within the system. The other component is down and housed in the reservoir, and it's a submersible pump, which is attached to this half inch poly tube. It runs up here. This is what I call my compost wand which pumps the water back into the brewer. The compost one has a control valve to control the amount of fluid that flows back into the brewer. So you have a closed loop within the brewer itself and you have a closed loop as a growth system. This is a hybrid growth system where I combine sole gardening with hydroponics and I developed a microfiber wick that wicks up the water from the bottom up. These are what you call air pruning containers. These are um, fabric bags. And so they're breathable. And what I like about the fabric bags is as that plant develops, the roots will penetrate through this cloth, get exposed to the light, dehydrate and drop off. That tells the tap root inside the container to branch off in, within the soil, which increases the root mass, which will accelerate your plant growth. Now with that said, like I said, this wicks from the bottom up into the soil. So as that root mass gets larger, the roots will eventually get down into your four gallon square bucket. So you have a five gallon grow bag and you have a four gallon square bucket. So that increases the root capacity, the volume that you can have to establish larger plants. Now for those who don't want to use soil and just strictly hydroponics that's achievable within this system and I can show you here how that can be achieved this is a perforated cylinder I have it slides down in your four inch hole in your lid now you can pack this with soil or use any type of media I line that with screen and uh, you put your plant in there drop your cylinder down in your hole now you're growing in strictly the water and nutrients as a hydroponic system so it shows you the flexibility this system has come back to the brewer I'll show you what the submersible pump looks like over here there's the submersible pump that is housed in the reservoir there's the poly tube Here's the compost wand. There's the control valve. Okay. Now the um, compost brewer has a unique filtering system, and there are no glue fittings to any of this system. So everything in the brewer, inside and out, is removable for cleaning purposes and just um, easy maintenance. This is what the filter looks like inside the brewer. There again, it is removable for cleaning purposes. You have overflow protection. This float valve 
is what controls the submersible pump within your reservoir and that prevents any overflow issues within your brewer. So this is where you put all your nutrients. And what's nice about the um, compost brewer is you can put multiple combinations of nutrients in here, whether it be water soluble, granulated slow release fertilizers, raw compost itself. You can also use a sock with compost. It's really endless the amounts of um, different types of fertilizers you can put in here. So it makes it a, a really nice, unique system to have and the flexibility. This piping, this three quarter inch, is attached to the filtering system. This is your control valve to control the amount of flow that flows out of your dispensing spigot to your first four gallon square bucket. You have a clean out down below, right there is your clean out for doing routine maintenance. The other nice aspect to the River Ponics growing system as I offer is you can actually hook up multiple growth systems to the patented brewer. There's a bulkhead fitting with the quick connect quarter inch tube, quick connect fitting, got a control valve here. That runs over to here to what I call my River Ponics growing flats. Quarter inch tube, quick connect fitting to a float valve housed inside the River Ponic flat. That float valve controls the amount of fluid within the, the channel. Now you can, this is nice because you can have all your starter plants over here. As you can see, I got little wicks in here. So you can start your plants that way, and you can cut the wick off. Well, when you're ready to transplant, pop that out, put in your new growth system. And you can grow hydroponically in here as well. I have starter seeds in here. Once these germinate, I can remove this, pop that right down in there. So I can literally grow hydroponically within this channel as well. You can have multiple holes within this system for multiple starter plants. Another one there. In fact, there's um, lettuce seeds I have started. There again, you can have larger plants. This is a two year old jalapeno tree. Let's see, the stalk looks like a tree trunk. It's been growing for two years, just brought it inside from uh, being out all spring, summer, and fall. I'll show you the wicking abilities when you use soil within the system. There's your four gallon square bucket, lid, four inch hole drilled on top. This is your grow bag. And here's the microfiber wicks I use. I recommend using two wicks at a time. Drop your container over your four gallon square bucket. Hold your wicks upright when you apply your soil in here. Put your soil in there, plant your seed or plant. I recommend thoroughly watering this too to prime the wicks within. And then it's literally a self watering system at that, at that time, it's hands free. All my systems are hands free other than adding nutrients to your compost brewer. And when I say self-watering, when you buy one of these systems, it comes with a float valve. This float valve actually will be housed inside your reservoir. It has a quick connect fitting right here, connects. It comes with 25 foot of this um, quarter inch tubing. Here's your garden hose hookup. Okay, so you can take that to an external source and with this, now you are literally self-watering. It'll keep the sufficient amount of fluid within your brewer and your system at all times. This system, this six plant system retails for $5.29. I also offer a 12 plant system which retails for $6.99. All these systems are expandable because there are no glued fittings. No glued fittings to the growth system. 
or the compost brewer. No glued fittings on the river ponics growing flats as well. Everything's gasketed. This end fitting is also removable, so you can expand on that as well. This all can be commercialized. If you notice, the soil is nice and dry on top, but if you pull the soil back, it's nice and moist underneath. And that's what you're trying to achieve, is you don't want the soil to be moist and damp on top to create algae and uh, fungus growth. So for further questions, you can contact me going to my website, which is www.riverponics.com. I do have a Facebook page, which is also River Ponics. My contact number is 260-267-4841. And I also have a YouTube channel where you can check out other videos. I offer larger size brewers and um, some other items as well. So check me out. Thank you.